cast off. Two, three, four, five. Feet go up. Two, three, four, five. Feet cast off. Two, three, four, five. Feet go down. Two, three, four. First diagonal now. Two, three, four, five, six, and second. Two, three, four, five, six. Go in, take hands. Three, four, five, six. Lead up, cast off. Three, four, five, six. And we're same time at the very end, right? But they're doing two different things. These are leading up, these are passing Okay, are you with me? Alright, almost ready. We've got a little bit of housekeeping. <laughs> what happens after we do that? The next thing that happens is we'll repeat the pattern of the dance with the same identity, but a new couple has come to join you, or you have come to join them. So, you are A's. You have just gone down one place. These are your new B's. You finished those. B's. B's. You have just gone up one place. These are your new A's. You see that? So, we'll keep repeating the dance pattern through. Quiet. Quiet. More quiet. We'll keep repeating the dance through for a while. If you're an A, each time through, you go down one place. If you're a B, each time through, you go up one place. Hang on. Is that relatively clear? Alright. Now, can you hold it for a minute and have that Alright, what happens at the end? And why did I say that it didn't really matter if you were actually doing Well, I think you may have figured that out. Sooner or later, you may come to an end of the set and have no one left to dance with. If that happens, and it might, you stand there once through the whole pattern of the dance. It's called standing out. You don't go anywhere. 